In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a stroke to your text. So let's get some text out here. Press T for the type tool, and then you can click on your document to add text. I'm just going to type the word hello. And then I'm going to go back to the move tool. The shortcut key for that is V. I'm going to press Command or Control T on my type layer, and that's going to allow me to transform it. Then I can scale it up. And if I have to, I might need to hold shift to avoid any skewing. But if shift skews it, because Photoshop likes to do both ways now, uh, you can just click and drag to scale it up. So we've got some big old text out here. Now to add a stroke to it, we actually need to add a stroke layer style. To add layer styles to a layer, by the way, press enter to commit that <laughs> transformation. Uh, to add layer styles to your layers, we can either click this effects button down here and go to stroke or what I like to do is just find the blank empty space to the right of the layer title and double click and that opens up the layer styles so we got the layer styles out here and we can add all those effects options you can add them down here or if you already have them showing up here you can just check mark an option like stroke for instance so let's click on this stroke option you can see we have size positioning inside outside center we have the blending mode opacity of that stroke and then we could select a fill type gradient pattern or color fill generally i'm sure you'd want a color fill so i'm going to add a red stroke to my text this red stroke is outlining the text actually let's flip flop that why don't we let's go ahead and add a black stroke and then we're going to go click ok so we have a black stroke on our black text i know it doesn't look good press t for the type tool and you can switch the text color up here, maybe to red. So we're gonna add red with the black outline and hit okay. Now I'm gonna show you something else. You can actually add multiple strokes, especially if you're in an updated version of Photoshop, if you're not you know, back in CS6 or earlier. Uh, to see the multiple strokes, let's go ahead and add a quick little rectangle to the background like this. Now this rectangle, let's make it something where we could see white. For instance, I'm just going to make it blue. And then I'm going to take this rectangle and drag it below my text layer or my type layer. So now we have a rectangle below our text. Let's go back in here and we can actually double click on effects or stroke or same spot on the right hand side of that layer. And we can add a second stroke. Now this is almost like a layers panel over here on the left. So every effect you add is above or below each other. So this stroke, if I check mark that, is actually below the black stroke. They're both set to position of outside, but the white stroke is larger at, let's say 80 points or 80 pixels, and the black stroke will set to 40. So you can imagine that now the white stroke is the first 40 pixels and then another 40 pixels to make 80, which means that you see 40 pixels of black and then 40 pixels of white. So if you double the underneath stroke, it'll show out here the same amount as the stroke that's on top. So the way that this text works now is it has a black stroke that's on top here, and we just did 40 pixels of that, and it's outside of the text, and then we have a white stroke, just like that. And you could keep going with this plus icon and add more strokes in here if you want. You could even add a drop shadow so it starts to pop off of the back. Let's see if we can get that drop shadow to even show here. We've got it multiplied with the black and what might have happened here. Yeah, there we go. We just might need to expand this out a little bit, maybe adjust the distance and even the spread. Now we're starting to see our drop shadow there and we can hit OK. So now it looks like almost like a little sticker icon, if, if you will. The other cool thing about this way of adding a stroke to text is that this text is still editable. So I can literally edit it and type and make it say whatever I want. But that's how you can add strokes to your text here in Photoshop.